Welcome to Lockdown Minis, I'm Richard and in this video we're going to be painting the last of the characters in the core set of Blackstone Fortress and that is Prius Vaughan, the missionary zealot. I've already got the mini primed and ready to go so I'm going to start off by um, adding highlights as always uh, with the airbrush and now I'm just moving on to using some uh, leather brown uh, to go on um, the underclothing like the, the ropes and so on. Now I'm moving on to the flames and for this first of all I'm using um, Moon Yellow by Vallejo Now I'm using hot orange and I'm making sure that I'm going to leave some yellow towards the bottom of that flame. I want to keep that yellow um, and the vibrancy of that yellow at the bottom um, and then moving into the, the hot orange. I've just added some bright red to the tips of the flames, um, almost just at the very, very, very tip. Now I'm just going to add a bit of black um, so this flame really looks like it's burning some kind of fuel um, and it's a bit murky. With the flames and the, the airbrush done, I'm now going to move on to our first shade, which is going to be Agrax Earth Shade. Now moving on to the flesh, I'm just going to add on um, some Rikon Flesh Shade over that um, tone that I've already added with the um, gradient from black to white in the face. Now I'm just going to use some black um, on the boots, uh, armour and the gloves. Here on the armour I'm actually adding a dry brush of grey um, just to highlight some of the, the areas on the armour before I add uh, some edge highlighting later on. Uh, this will just give that um, armour, make it look like it's got a little bit of a, a shine to it rather than just being a flat black colour. Here I'm using a little bit of wolf grey uh, for the, the book and his, uh, that's attached to his belt. I'll add a shade to this book later on. Here I'm going to fill in the tabard and for this I'm going to use Bone White by Vallejo uh, which is similar to a Shapti Bone. Now I'm using some bright bronze uh, by Vallejo uh, just to fill in the tanks uh, that hold the fuel for his, his flamethrower on the back. Now 
I also use the same colour just for the pipe on the flamethrower. You may notice I've spent plenty of time just looking over the model as I'm painting it just to make sure that I'm not missing any areas and also to see if I have missed any areas where I need to go back to and you can see here I've just missed a, a few areas that I also want to do in that bronze colour. Now I'm going to use some yellow uh, just to do the pipe work um, that obviously feeds the flame throw with the, with the fuel and some red for the, the pipe that comes from the, the backpack to the flamethrower itself. I'm using silver by Vallejo um, just to go over any metallic bits that I want to have um, like a stainless steel or, or metal look to them. Um, here I'm using it on some of the um, clips on the pipework, um, some of the flamethrower itself um, and also the teeth on the chainsaw as well um, and a few other little areas. I always like to have multiple types of metallics such as uh, silver, uh, bronze, and gold, and I'll often use these three um, within the same model as well. And in some cases, I'll use two different types of, of silver. I'm using uh, Vallejo's polished gold for the chainsaw and I'll also use the same color for the areas around the flames. Now the same polished gold for his, uh, for his headpiece. Now I'm using uh, Vallejo's Bone White just to uh, pick up a few areas that I missed out on earlier. Um, so an area on the book, um, the Purity Seal, um, and also there's a small bone on the end.
Here I'm using silver just to pick out some of the small details in the armour. Now I'm just using some black um, to, to put stripes onto the yellow cable so we have that uh, black and white sort of stripes cable look. I'm using some white just to put some edge highlights on the flames um, just to make sure that they are really bright and hot. I also use the same to um, add some edge highlighting onto the armor. I'm not going to use um, Null oil to add a wash to all the metallic areas um, and also the red cable that comes from his weapon to his backpack. I'll finish her off with um, a black base as always. Here's the finished model. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, as always, I've enjoyed making it. Um, if you have enjoyed this and, and you want to see more, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Um, uh, leave a comment. You know, if you've got any uh, any questions or anything, I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Also, really exciting time, decided to change up a little bit of the, the format of the videos so you'll be seeing some new videos coming um, real soon with some tutorials for basing uh, for 40k models but also some stuff on Ultramarines as well. Um, so hit that subscribe button, make sure that you're uh, kept in the loop. Um, I look forward to, uh, to seeing you all soon.